everybody, Ashley here. I was just preparing some laundry to go into the wash and I thought this was a good opportunity to show you guys what I do to help with the set-in stains. A lot of times in this house, um, the kids or Andrew will spill on themselves and forget to mention to me that they have a stain on their shirt and it slips past and it gets washed and then that stain gets set in. So I've actually been using um, Dawn dish soap baking soda and hydrogen peroxide to help me lift those set-in stains. So I thought I'd show you because getting stains out in the mom world is a huge accomplishment. So let me go ahead and show you what I do to get those stains out. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start getting some of these set-in stains out. Um, here's one of Andrew's shirts. I have a whole pile of them that need some treatment. So if you can see right here, is a stain. Um, he is notorious for dropping things on himself throughout the day and then not telling me and then I wash them and then we get this. So um, again here it is right here this big set in spot because um, this shirt has been already washed and dried with this stain on here. So um, now we're going to try to tackle it. Um, Hadley's right here eating her lunch so I might have to break if she needs more but She's fine right now. So I grabbed just a little um, Rubbermaid Tupperware Gladware container. And then I'm going to do um, Dawn dish soap. I have massive size, of course, because everything's at Costco. And then I just pour it right on into here. Get a good amount there. And then I have a cleaning toothbrush. So, and I always put a band on the ones that people don't want to put in their mouth <laughs> just in case all right so then you're going to dip that in here and get a really good amount of that dish soap onto your toothbrush here and then we're just going to go right onto that stain do you need more no you're fine all right so we're just going to go like that get some more and just really saturate that area the dish soap. All right. The next step is baking soda. Just gonna sprinkle a little bit on here. It's coming out in chunks, which is fine, because then I'll just break it up. Okay. Just right over the top of that. And then the last part is going to be our hydrogen peroxide. And I'm going to take the same container and just pour some of that in there. And then you're going to want to get enough on here that it makes more of a paste on here. So really get a good amount on that brush. And then just work it in there. I just make small circular motions. Do you need more? All right. Yeah. All right. A little bit more. All right. So this spot is good and treated. What we're gonna do is let this sit on here for an hour before we just do the normal wash cycle with it. So. Go ahead and treat it, let it sit for an hour, and then normal wash cycle. Okay, so after applying that, I let it sit for an hour, and then I went ahead and just washed this like I normally would. And as you can see, that set in stain is now gone. So we had a big old spot right here where he dribbled something down himself, um, and it is now gone. You do wanna make sure that you wait an hour before you wash at least. This probably waited an hour and a half. Um, I have a couple others that waited less than an hour, and I'm retreating them. They do look better than they did, but definitely 
definitely make sure it sits at least an hour for you. Another thing I wanted to mention quickly is if you're doing a darker color shirt, like I have some darker stuff over here, um, you're gonna wanna spot test first just to make sure that the combination um, of supplies isn't gonna cause any bleaching or anything, any um, light spots. Where I always do that on Andrew's shirts is actually right back here. So I just pull up where his collar is and I'll do a little spot test right here. And I just apply the same things in the same way that I do um, on the spots themselves. Wait the same amount of time and, and go ahead and rinse it and dry it and just make sure that the material didn't fade at all or get any kind of funky color. So this is a good spot to test on these polo shirts. This is what I'm working with with Andrew because this is what he wears every day, whether it's um, a nicer polo short, shirt or um, his work polo shirt. So um, that's where I go ahead and do the testing on his. Um, you wanna make sure it's somewhere that's not gonna be visible. Um, and again, this is where the stain was and it is gone now. So this shirt is good to go. It needs a quick steaming, but maybe sat in the dryer too long. But um, again, no more set and stain.